So here we are at the trifecta is what they call it at, oh, let's see if I can get this, gold bar spike spider. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. We are back here at uh, Gemini Bridges, where we started off yesterday's adventure at uh, Metal Masher. Today we are going to do Golden Spike. We're actually going to do the trifecta. So we are going to go up. Uh, hey, Gold Bar. Yep. Yeah, Gold Bar, Golden Spike, Poison Spider, and out. So it's going to be a long day today. Uh, we've seen anywhere from eight to twelve hours to do these three trails depending on experience and stuff like that with us filming doing all this other stuff we're fully expecting the 12 hour plus range but uh airing down as always we got the trail panda family we got the llama family and uh we're gonna get loaded up in on the trails here beautiful morning in moab guys gorgeous just before sunrise check out that sunrise guys Sitting here on uh, Gemini Bridges still. Gemini Bridges, hitting up. But man, absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, I haven't gotten the gimbal on yet, so you get to deal with the bumpy cameras. But uh, Gemini Bridges, we are coming up to the fork here that uh, goes off to Gold Bar Rim. So uh, we are actually doing this trail in reverse because. Um, our campsite's down at the south end of town, so we figured we'd go up further north, go through all this, come out Poison Spider, which is further south, and we end up closer to the campsite when we're done. But here's the fork right here. Uh, I gave you guys this GPS yesterday when we were on our way up to Metal Masher. Let me see if I can give it to you. And today, there's the GPS coordinates, and we are going to go off to the left to start Gold Bar Rim. Alrighty, so this started up pretty quick. So it did rain last night, so we got some uh, wet sand. Sand is sticking to the uh, tires. And we're gonna be climbing some slick rock here. There you go, just keep it straight. Let me make sure you're not smacking your diff. Uh, turn a little driver, a little more. Keep going, keep going. There you go, now go. No, no, turn driver and go forward. A little more driver. There it is. You're good, keep going. There you go. Easy peasy. Oh, you broke a rock. You broke another rock. That's actually a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good climb, huh? Yeah. It's a pretty solid climb. Yeah, honestly, I think we could have done that. The water just scares me a little. He, I know, I told him he's just got to watch that rock right there. 
There you go, that's better, babe. Turn driver just a hair, driver, driver, driver. That's why I said driver. Well, he was driver. That was yep, so that's uh, what Dave just did to the diff. Oopsies. It looks fine. Okay, tell the camera what you just did. Tested my body armor. <laughs> About the diff cover. Yeah, I tested the diff cover armor. That's the importance of a diff cover. <laughs> yes, that, that is the importance of the diff cover. Um, I mean, I was pretty much lined up. It's just a little bit of wet sand stuck to the tires. And as I was making the climb for the back end, it shifted. It to did the shift quite side. a bit. And uh, instead of climbing all the way up, it bounced over and dropped the rear diff right on the uh, ledge. But uh, just looking at the armor there, the armor took the hit. The differential is untouched and it's still sealed and not leaking. So, so this is our endorsement for diff covers. Yes. Boys and girls, there's a, there's a reason why you dump $2,000 into belly armor and diff armor and stuff like that. You know, it's yes, $2,000 was a big investment into armor, but that armor just saved our entire uh, well, entire trip but the trail riding for today because that uh that differential could be oh, and open. the repairs and ruining the vacation heavy. and yeah but you know the thing is uh we do have uh the metal cloak diff covers the heavy duty diff covers for the front and rear for the jeep they're painted up and ready to go on and everything they're sitting at home i just haven't put them on because i was going to do the diff fluid flush at the end of the wheeling season which this is probably going to be the end of our wheeling season so there will be differential uh uh cover upgrades coming uh off season which i'll do a little video or something on sorry um uh, but uh again don't overlook the uh the the simplicity of armor for your vehicle even if it's expensive this is what we're going down as he's giving his spiel yeah i'm trying to talk and <laughs> <laughs> and try to make sense of my ramblings as I'm trying to navigate down. <laughs> so, it's like, oh, squirrel! <laughs> down you go. Ooh. What is that I said about belly armor? <laughs> Down you go in about now. Ooh, nicely done. Now, Ruby has gone under some uh, extensive upgrades I have not filmed. Um, I, one, because I filmed the uh, heavy duty steering us setup, uh, the steering arms and tie rods, drag links. And I stupidly deleted all that footage, so um, <laughs> I deleted that without uh, posting the video or editing a video. Um, and Ruby actually went through a full Terraflex big upgrade kit. I have the J8 Wrangler um, master cylinder and brake booster, so the brakes and everything have been upgraded in Ruby. So it's making it a lot easier to go down some of these trails here. I'm going to pop out quick. All right. Look at that view. Gorgeous. Gotta get down here a little bit. <laughs> Not fall.
right is Rusty Nail. Left is Gold Bar Rim. We're staying left. Yep, Rusty Nail tends to be a buggy trail, so. Rusty Nail will take you to Golden Spike as well, but we're going to take the easier way. got here. It looks like a big old warning sign about the waterfall. There is no bypass. <laughs> Winches and lockers suggested beyond this point. Alternate routes are more difficult. So this is the easy this way. This is the easy way. That's crazy. Hey Ruby, want to race? Look, I can walk faster than you. <laughs> nice. All right. Starting the waterfall here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm glad we're going in backwards. <laughs> Climbing this would be brutal. Oh my gosh. This is a steel bender waterfall, isn't it?
Take your time, babe. Straighten your tire just a little bit. No, oh, I'm sorry, toward me. Thank you, there you go. I'm just seriously putting you down Brad's line. Okay, you're gonna, just a little, and then you're gonna stop right here on this ledge. There you go. Now just watch that rock, right? There you go. 32. Nice. Jane, I'm Jane, down. Daddy's down. Hi. This poor little super girl was scared for daddy. You're pushing You're leaving your mark, babe. Oh, your camera! Your camera popped out again. That's all right. Ruby went to the bathroom. And you just barely kissed the edge of your spare. Just barely a little kiss at the very end. Tiny kiss. All right, guys. So we just went down the waterfall. If you don't plan on doing the trifecta, like Golden Spike, Poison Spider, all the way out. Before you come down this, uh, before you come down this, make sure you evaluate that you can get out of it. So there is a winch point uh, right there, and then there's a chain that's anchored in the ground just right over there. But before you come down this to do the gold bar rim trail, make sure you're able to get out of this. Because if you come down this and you're by yourself and you don't have a winch, you're not climbing that. You're not climbing that. But there you go. That's not too bad. Gold bar waterfall. So here's the trail key. We are right here. We need to go all the way out here. We got a long day ahead of us. Yeah, now that the waterfall is done, she's going to steal the water out of the driver's seat. This way, come come hard driver now. Hard driver, watch, there's a big rock on the passenger side. Harder driver. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Straighten out. Just keep going straight, straight. You may touch rear bumper a little bit coming out of this. Nicely done. Gotta put our little camera back in. My little camera mod has been pretty durable. So, if you need to see how to relocate your camera because you got an aftermarket wheel and everything like that, check out my video. If I remember, I'll link it below. But there's your. Uh, Backup camera relocation. And it bumps on rocks all the time. Alrighty. Here's a mini golden crack. So golden spike, it will actually have the golden crack, but this is the mini golden crack that Brad's just about to go over. Easy peasy and done. Nothing really worth spotting. It's just a little. It's a little dip. Like I said, it's not really anything to spot. Well, over here it would be. Yeah. So later on, we're gonna do something bigger. Yep. <laughs> Right there.
There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So here we are at the end of Gold Bar Rim. I mean, just epic views. And right up that way, Golden Spike. I mean, you can either climb this or climb that. Gatekeeper for all intents and purposes. So there's your uh, entrance to Golden Spike. <laughs> 